To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Lord, I thank you and I praise your wonderful name. I thank you for yet another opportunity. I thank you for your grace and your mercy. Oh my God, which I am not worthy to receive. I thank you and I praise your wonderful name. Hallelujah. Thank you. I love reading devotionals. And this particular devotional that I was reading is titled Space for Me. Yeah, God has space for me. You know, and depending on the situation at the time or what's going on in life, how I respond to those situations, trials and tribulations, you know, I feel, well, no, God doesn't have space for someone like me. That's not true. Absolutely not true. Because God creates space, especially for the rough, okay? Rough around the edges. The guilt-ridden, the mistreated, the excluded. God wants us on his team. He wants us to be a part of his community, right? In Luke chapter 5, verse 32, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, right? Sinners to repentance, and you may think, well, you know what? I don't have no sin in me. I, I do everything. I cross every T, dot every I. Well, okay. But in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 and 10, it says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the faith and the truth, excuse me, the truth is not in us. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him, God, a liar, and his word is not in us. And you can go one step further and say in Romans chapter 8, verse 23, all have sinned and came short of the glory of God. He's called us as sinners. He wants us to be on his team. He wants us to be in his community. He has carved out a space just for you, just for me. And what better team to be a part of? What better community to, to live in? So when it seems like he's not with, the, with you, he's not listening to you, he's not answering your prayers, Hold still, be still, keep praying, because he also states, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He has carved out a space just for us. Saints, enjoy your day and be blessed and wait on the Lord. I found out what Jesus did.